Well, for more on Cuba and U.S. relations now, I'm joined by Hugo Cancio. He's the CEO and the president of Cuba Business Development Group, and he founded Fuego Entertainment. Always a pleasure to have you on the broadcast. Yes, Welcome back. How are you? It has been more than 80 years since a U.S. president has stepped foot in Cuba. Give us an idea of how significant this is. My goodness, this is a historical moment. This is the first president to visit Cuba in almost 90 years, almost a decade. Uh, it's, uh, he will be extremely well received by, by the Cuban people. Uh, we're all very excited as a Cuban American and very proud of this move. Some of us have walked the hallways of Congress for over 25 years uh, waiting for the re reinstatement of diplomatic relationship between you know, our native country and an adoptive country. And now that the president of the United States is coming to Cuba, we will give him a, b a big welcome. We're very excited. I was just asking Michael Voss, our reporter there on the ground in Cuba, about any concessions that may be made. Um, do you see any concessions that will be made uh, prior to his visit? And give us an idea of the pageantry that will encompass this visit. Well, look, I, I have got to believe that uh, there will be some uh, uh, public statements made by both uh, um, leaders, uh, President Raul Castro and President uh, Obama. Um, they're negotiating the, um, the peace talks among the Colombians and the rebels in Cuba. I'm sure the issue of the embargo will be something that will be discussed. I'm sure that the president will bring some, uh, a good message to the Cuban people. Uh, I know, I heard he will be accompanied by some members of, uh, prominent members of the Cuban diaspora, which is extremely, uh, will be well received in Cuba as well. Um, I'm hoping that there will be an, a very positive dialogue between the president, both presidents, and something positive will come out of it. Something that will enhance the lives of 11.2 million people that deserve a better future and have been waiting for this moment for over 56 years. So many critics are saying that this is too soon. There are basic rights that are still being denied, economic and human rights of Cuban people. What kind of message does this send, and, and what does it send to the other Latin American countries? Well, I mean, this is a historical visit. Uh, you know, human rights in Cuba has been an issue, but there's been a lot of improvement. Uh, the Cuban government has been working towards this moment, and uh, and you know, I'm sure the president will will raise that issue. I mean, I've heard that the president will meet with some members of the, of you know, of the Cuban uh, political activists or dissidents, as they call it, or called in Cuba, and members of uh, members of the Cuban society or civil society in Cuba. Um, and and I think this visit will will bring about, you know, change in, in the hearts and minds of the Cuban people, which is, you know, who are holding their future in their hands. They will bring a tremendous amount of, of, of um, you know, happiness to the Cuban people and to the new generations that have uh, the responsibility of moving this country forward. As you know, this week the U.S. announced commercial flights uh, mm -hmm. will now begin between the two countries. It seems like uh, every time we turn around, there's something in the news about, about how the relations have normalized one step further. Uh, what do you expect next, Hugo? Uh, tell me again, I'm sorry. I just said um, this week it was announced mm -hmm. that the uh, commercial flights will be flying back and forth between right. Cuba and the U.S. So it seems like every time we look up in the news, there's another blip about something happening between the two countries. What big move do you expect next? Well, look, the, the biggest move that we all are expecting is the lifting of the inhumane economic embargo imposed by the U.S. government on the Cuban people that lasted way too long, that is affecting the everyday life of everyday Cubans, okay? Um, you know, lifting the travel ban on American citizens, allowing American banks and Cubans banks to uh, uh, do monetary transaction in U.S. dollars, uh, those are, extremely important issues that needs to be discussed you know the uh, you know the illegal occupation of the Guantanamo base uh, that is something that the Cuban governments will bring about and that's something that will be on the table I mean there's a lot of issues on the table that needs to be resolved but I I'm confident that both government are moving into the right direction into normalizing relationship and you know brushing aside some of the differences that have lasted way too long well, Hugo Concio, we appreciate it, uh, president of the Cuban Business Development Group, and I'm sure well, we'll you. be speaking with you again uh, before the president uh, g goes to actually to Cuba well, in one month. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.